Hi everybody, hope you're staying safe out in this crazy world right now. I had a rather sleepless night last night because um, of what's happening with regards to the reopening of schools. Now, I have a protocol in place that I know can safely reopen schools and it frustrates me so much to see the pictures we've been seeing in the news recently of a crowded corridor of uh, students with no masks and now 12 of those are now infected and another school where several hundred are now in isolation because the right, the, the, the right steps were not taken. Now we have a team of experts with regards to deep sanitation with testing and all the other bits and pieces that go on and we know that we can actually open up the schools safely because we're talking to the teachers unions right now and the representatives that we're talking to love the protocols, they love the ideas and they're trying to get it up the ladder to the correct people. So basically if you know anybody who's got any sort of influence when it comes to opening up schools and you want to see your school opened up correctly, just ask them to reach out to anastasiagroup.com and uh, literally we're more than happy to take a call with them and suggest some, some possibilities of how schools can be opened safely. There is a logical way to do it. And while we're on the subject of people who make decisions, um, I find it very frustrating that this pandemic is being politicized in the way it is because people are dying out there. It makes no difference who's at fault. It makes no difference what the situations are or what the situations could be. We have to address the here and the now. And politicizing it does not reduce the impact of all the deaths that are happening and the infections that are going on. So please try not to politicize it, but do whatever we can. And here's the first thing from my side of it, and I've said this on several occasions now, the testing that's going on at the moment is a waste of time, a waste of money, and a waste of resources. Because people wait in hours for their test, and then they're waiting a couple of weeks to get their result. Now anybody in the medical faculty knows three to five days after that test is taken, your status has changed. So that result, when it comes, you could have been through the virus by that time and come out the other side. So you know, in my opinion, though, that testing should stop. I think people should be directed to doing the at-home testing. If the government is paying for testing, they just will be paying for that. Then at least the people are in their own home environment and they don't have to go out and mix with other people to get these tests done. That's the first point. But then it means that this testing can then be allocated to the frontline people who truly need it. Nurses, doctors, teachers, police, fire, all of these frontline people have to be tested every three days. And while the labs are being backed up with every general public testing, that's not going to happen. So in my opinion, the public should be directed to doing the at-home testing and uh, literally everybody on the main testing road, road it could then focus on the front line so that's my thought if you've got anybody that uh, you can reach out to with these thoughts and you know ask them to reach out to anastasiagroup.com or to me personally whatever the case may be and uh, stay safe in this pandemic we, we will get there it's just a hard road at the moment because people are not listening so please be logical be safe listen to what you're being told because even though you may think there's a political motive Wearing masks is a good way of keeping things down. Social distancing is a good way of keeping things down. We were there once already and then people got sloppy. So now we're in with bigger spikes than we had before. Let's try and beat this thing, okay? Stay safe out there, please. And uh, you know where I am if I can be of any help. Bye-bye.